Hey what's up everyone this is Jalai welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to be unboxing the Cooler Master Master Watt 750 power supply unit. This is a semi fanless modular 80 plus bronze certified unit which comes with 5 years of limited warranty and it's 15% fanless. Quickly going through the box on the front you will find some basic information and branding of Cooler Master Master Watt 750 and on the left and back you will see some specifications and details. But don't worry about them right now as I will walk you through each one of them once we have taken the power supply out of the box. The first thing you will see inside the box is the user manual and the warranty card. Before we take a closer look at the power supply itself, let me show you the cables and connectors you will get with Cooler Master Master Watch 750. You will get two 6 plus 2 pins PCI Express cables and each one of them can supply power to two devices, so total four connectors. The wire gauge of these PCI Express cables are 16 AWG, which means these more conductive thicker cables allow higher current because they have higher heat tolerance, less resistance and thereby improved efficiency. You will also get nine SATA connectors divided into two cables. And lastly, with this one cable, you will get three 4-pin peripheral connectors and a 4-pin FDD or floppy disk connector. So these are all the modular cables. Coming back to the power supply unit, since it has a semi-modular design, the 20 plus 4-pin connector for the motherboard and the 4 plus 4-pin connector for the processor are permanently attached to it. These cables have decent length and should be good enough to be used in any size of cabinet. Although the quality of these cables is good and they are all black, I would have loved it if all the cables were braided as opposed to the modular cables being flat ribbon. Now the only thing remaining to check out is the PSU itself and I must say it is a heavy unit. The physical size of Cooler Master Master Watch 750 is 150mm by 140mm by 86mm. This 120mm Silencio FP fan combines sealed LDB bearings. The loop dynamic fan bearings is sealed, self lubricating and dust proof. This technology keeps the fan running smoothly for longer, keeping the noise level down and extending the lifespan of the PSU. This thermally aware fan spins based on the unit temperature, keeping the system cool and quiet at lighter load. The terms semi fanless and 15% fanless mean the fan will not spin under 15% load, offering zero dBA noise. When demand for the power increases, the gradual fan curve provides measured cooling with little to no noise at any output level. There are only two types of ports available on the back of the power supply unit. You will get two 8 pin ports for PCI Express connectors and three 5 pin ports for SATA and HDD connectors. Looking at the power inputs, Cooler Master Master Watch 750 can accept 100 to 240 volts of AC input with 10 to 5 amps of current and 50 to 60 hertz frequency. For the output, this unit comes with single plus 12 volts rail design offering 62.5 amps, and for both the plus 3.3 and plus 5 volts rails, it offers the same 22 amps. The dual forward and DC to DC circuit design keeps the voltage stable in all conditions. This is especially significant in plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt outputs. The 80 plus bronze certification guarantees an average efficiency of 85% and less than 0.5 watt used in standby mode. Protection is a good thing to keep in mind when choosing a PSU and this unit comes with six different kinds of protections, namely over voltage, over power, overcurrent, short circuit, over temperature and brownout protection. I bought this PSU for 6800 rupees and considering all the features of it, I think this is a great budget semi modular 750 watt power supply unit with 80 plus bronze certification. Anyway, that's been it for this video. If you liked watching it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more PC related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.